How's it going, everybody? I'm still upside down hanging out here with... Wait, where's Robbie? Robbie? Oh! Robbie, you're up there! Hey, get down here, you motherfucker! But yes, yeah, so we're back with another episode of Abzu. So the first episode, I still have no idea what the fuck is going on in this game. I'm pretty much a fish whisperer. That's what I've accounted for, except sharks. Sharks don't like Robbie, and Robbie likes to uh, get eaten by them. But yeah, aside from that, it has been a visually pleasing experience, and I uh, recommend you go check out episode one if you did miss it, because uh, this game is fucking majestic. Pretty much the definition of majestic when it comes to game visuals, to be honest. Uh, we're going to a blue pool right now. It, it was very pretty about a minute ago, and now we're in this kind of darkness, so I'm a little worried, but it looks like we got another one of those teleporting pools, so let's go down inside it. And hopefully we go back to another pretty place. Oh, no, we're back at the sea anus. But uh, that, that, that could be a good thing. We really don't know yet. Oh, yeah, we're back at the crystal fucking castle here in the sky. I still have no idea what's going on with this thing. I'm assuming we're going to be seeing quite a bit of this. Uh, maybe it has to do with the levels. Like, each one of these outside pillars is one le Oh, that is it. I figured it out because that's the first one with the flying mana rays. Now we're on, I guess it would be like scene two or level two. Uh, or rather, we're completed it now. So, judging by just around this, we might have two more to go, or maybe they unlock as we go here. It looks like there's two more, uh, gazebos, though, that I can open up. So, let's go in this one, make another ditto here, and, uh, see what the next one has to offer. Hello, ditto, my old friend. Oh, yes, ditto, you take my little glowing ball of soul and turn the tree into whatever you want. Oh, we got whales this time. Yeah, we did see whales at the end of that last one. Very cool. And I'm assuming we see some sort of great beast at the end of each level. So what will be next? I don't know. And neither do you. That's the great thing about watching a Let's Play. Or maybe you do and you just want to rewatch it again. That's cool too. Oh yeah, this time we got the floating killer whales though. Oh, this is so fucking beautiful. I wonder really what's going on here though. I mean, we're growing like these weird ass temples out of rock. And I don't really understand it, but let's go through the temple again and uh, see what happens this time. Actually, now that I think about it, the last time we went through a temple, I think Robbie got eight at the end of it, didn't he? I think that was when it was. So I'm not too excited about going through here because I rather like Robbie. Robbie makes me feel secure. He can kill the red things, which is always nice. And yeah, it just feels great having Robbie around. Oh, this one's actually a little bigger. It seems like maybe I just forget how big the other one was. I don't remember it having pottery or anything. So yes, this is when Robbie got attacked. Uh, looks like this time I'm okay. But we have a big fucking school of fish in front of us. I really want to go in the middle of that. I, I don't care if it's dangerous. We are definitely going in the middle of this, guys. Oh shit. Oh my god, there is so many fish. I'm amazed the game can process something like this, and I am getting a stable 60 FPS inside of here. Look how cool this is! Sorry, I'm not really used to seeing this many things on a screen at once in video games. They usually can't handle that, so it was nice to see. You know what? We're just gonna head to the evil red-looking triangle. I think there's like a feeding frenzy going on over here, and I'd rather not get eaten. Okay, back at the all-seeing eye. Hello, I Open sesame, bitch. Let me in. Oh, is it gonna let me in again? Thank you! Okay, actually, now that I think about it, this is when Robbie got eaten. Maybe? Oh, God. I think we're going to a cutscene, guys. We haven't had a cutscene yet. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a cutscene. Look at that, though. That is so pretty! Am I, am I, am I okay in here? Okay, there's no creepy sharks yet, which is good. Ooh, I'm seeing a chain. I gotta, I gotta assume that chain is attached to something important. All right, well, let's just follow the chain and see where it leads. You know what they say, at the end of every chain, there's no real saying when it comes to something at the end of a chain. I don't know why I even said that, but it attaches itself to this. Now, can I do anything with this? Oh, can I sit on the top of it and maybe bring my fish bros in? Last few were sharks. This one is something different. I don't think I can sit on this and meditate. That's no fun. I wanted to do that. Oh, hey, there's these fish too. I don't actually remember what their names are, but they, they remind me of pancakes with wings. So I really like them. Uh, if, if you guys know the name of this fish, feel free to put it in the comments below. Because it is fucking cool looking. And God, I hope it's called the pancake fish because that would be badass. Am I seeing, is this treasure over here? Oh, maybe it isn't. I thought I thought, I thought it was a big-ass treasure chest, but now it doesn't really look like that. But I can use my x-ray vision or whatever the fuck it is to do whatever I'm... What the hell am I doing? 
Okay. I'm moving the chain, which is going through all of the holes, and I'm assuming it's going to open up that door. I didn't even know there was a puzzle here, and I already solved, well, it looks like half of the puzzle, so I just got to figure out how to do the other half. I'm assuming it's the same thing, just simply follow the chain, so let's try that out. Well, that chain is leading towards what clearly is an underwater sun. I mean, what else could make this much fucking light? <laughs> Water. Oh, we got a blue one this time. Robbie, can you help me out with blue ones? I don't even know where Robbie is. Is, is he around me? Uh, oh, did I lose Robbie? What the fuck? I I just realized now. What kind, what kind of shitty friend just realizes now that he lost Robbie? So is this going to be like a common occurrence where I just keep losing my poor little robot named Robbie? Uh, looks like this is him actually here. I conveniently found him right away. Robbie, what the fuck are you doing in the rock? Get out of the rock, you little shithead. Come on, let's go open that shit. There you go, Robbie. <laughs> I love how I just like push him out of my hands. Like, fuck you. Just start floating, bitch. Okay, Robbie, I have a very important job for you, and it's your only job to get rid of this shit. Because we need to. The chain's going through here, bro. There you go. Suck that shit up. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at that. Good job, Robbie. Okay, and we got another pulley system here. So this is obviously all we needed to do was get over to this and do this one as well. Oh, look at these plants. They hide. That's so cool. Oh, yeah. They're slowly opening up now. And we have turned on the chain. Oh, there's still another chain there, though. Do I have to move that one as well? I, d I did notice another one. Oh. <gasps> Was that a sea lion? Did I just see a sea lion? Is that, is that what they're called? I, I I get seals and sea lions confused. Actually, that's probably not even a seal or a sea lion. I don't know. I don't know my aquatic animals, guys. Stop judging me. Okay, but now the chains are moving. That means we can leave. Oh, look at these plants. I fucking love them. Uh, yeah, run away, bitches. You scared, bro? But yes, the chains are moving now. That means the door is hopefully opened. I think it is. Manatee. That is the name of these fuckers. I've been sitting here for like five minutes trying to remember what the fuck these things were called because I knew it wasn't a seal or a sea lion and I didn't want to have to deal with the comments saying it's a manatee, you fucking idiot. But yes, I just couldn't remember the name off the top of my head. I mean, it kind of looks like a seal. It kind of looks like a sea lion. It kind of looks like a walrus. They all look the same. Manatee is kind of like the hipster underground one that no one knows about anyways. All right, now we're in the red zone. Yes. Oh, this looks fucking cool. I don't know if I'm supposed to feel scared here, but I do really like the red feel. The uh, sounds did get a little bit more scary, though, so let's go down to this little... I don't know what it is. It looks like a nest. I'm gonna go down and... Oh, yeah, these are the nests, because this is what bred whatever was before. <gasps> is that lionfish? I think we bred some lionfish, guys. Hello, little lionfish. I think they're poisonous, so I don't want to get too close to them in case this game likes to be a douchebag and, you know, implement things like that in. I mean, I know Stranded Deep likes to do that, and I think all of us know that. Okay, but where are we going? I'm liking a look at this place. This is fucking cool. What is on the ground here? This is like little glowy things. I don't know what they're called. I I know there's glowing things. Oh, that's a shark. Okay, so I gotta watch out for the shark. Uh, I'm too busy talking about the glowing things to deal with the great white. That's, oh, wait, is that a tiger? I think, yeah, that's a tiger, right? No, that's a great white. The, the underbody is white, therefore it's a great white. Okay, but it did run away, so let's get through this while we have the time to do so. Am I, I'm allowed to meditate on this as well? No, it's not letting me. That's no fun. All right, let's just do the smart thing of following the fucking shark that ate Robbie, you know, 20 minutes ago. I'm sorry, Robbie. You'll probably die again by the end of this game. Let's let's be fair here. Okay, we're in just a creepy-ass shark cave, but uh, looks like we're going to the entrance right now. Let's hope the shark isn't waiting there for us so we can get a little snack. Nope, it's looking pretty good. Ooh, we're in a big-ass castle. You can see uh, the columns over there, at least. Oh, hey, we got another one of those blue things. Is this done already? Is this level two? Did I just make it to the end? I forget if the teleporters... I believe the teleporters are at the end, aren't they? So, yeah, this might be it for this one. Uh, we'll see where we go. I think we go to the Crystal Castle now, if it's anything like last time. Yes, we got the sea anus, and now we have reached the third... Or, no, yeah, this is the third Crystal Castle. So, yes, there is our other two that we've already explored, and we are heading towards the third one. I'm hoping this game isn't already over, well, after this last one. I would like this game to be a little bit longer, but uh, regardless, I've had a great time playing it. So it doesn't really matter, but uh, I'm assuming there's got to be a little bit more to this. Okay, Ditto, I got to give you a, once again another soul. So here you go, and make me a little shrine, please. Okay, so this time it was... Oh, did I totally miss the fact that we saw fucking whale fish or whale shark? Is that a whale shark? I believe that's a whale shark, right? I don't remember seeing them, though, in that level. So I, maybe I totally missed the fact that we saw one of the biggest sharks 
actually the biggest shark in the world. <laughs> there they are, though. Look at them flying around. Totally normal. Hey, pancakes there as well. Look at that. This one's nice and yellow. I like the colors of this one. Very pretty. You know what? Oh, man. I want to take a screenshot of that. It went too quick, though. All right. Into the next temple. These ones seem to be getting progressively bigger. Uh, yeah, this one is definitely bigger, uh, which is interesting. I don't know if there's some sort of hidden storyline here. I'm just having a good time, you know, swimming randomly around, trying not to get eaten by sharks and everything, and going through these random underground temples. Maybe we're finding Atlantis. Wouldn't that be cool? I'm gonna say that's exactly what we're doing. We're just busy finding Atlantis, guys. Okay, we gotta do something different this time. I gotta actually ignite this thing. I don't remember doing this anyways before. Oh, wow, the the walls actually glow now. That's pretty. And the gate opens. Okay, camera, come on, work with me here. Let's just turn around and keep going. Okay, this is definitely a bigger temple. Looks like we got, is this another door? Yes, it is, and this one is locked. Oh, I just got to do another one of these. I didn't even notice it in the middle of the fucking room. Okay, there we go. Powered up that with some water, it looks like. Is this... Yes, this is a flowing stream of water through this whole temple. And then once it hits the door, it opens up. So cool! Okay, come on, little water stream. We will be out of this temple any time now. Actually, I think this is the door right here. Wait, do we have... Okay, that's just weeds inside the temple. Oh, can I meditate on this? I I, I miss meditating. There we go. Let's, let's, uh, let's take a second here and meditate. Look at that backflip onto the shark. Impressive. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought that was an actual shark. It's actually a drawing of the shark. Thank God. Oh, my... Oh, that is so cool. I still don't know what the fuck this does. You can see it does some sort of wave and brings all the fish over to me. I uh, gotta assume that will be for a later puzzle, or maybe I'm just not using it right right now. Who the hell knows? Okay, but let's fill up this one. There we go. And I don't actually see the water thing, so does this door not open? Oh, it does open. I, I guess it didn't need the water to open these things up. This temple is fucking huge, though. Okay, well, we have left the temple through a broken wall, and now we're in a cave system. Oh, there we go. That is the triangular door that we've seen a couple times now. So these levels, unfortunately, very similar each time. Uh, Journey, well, the original Journey liked to do that as well. Uh, I don't like it too much. I would like these to be drastically different each time, but maybe there's like a story at the end of this that we'll find out why we're doing this or something, or it's just totally random. Who the fuck knows? But I am getting flashbacks of my homie Robbie dying when I left this, so I'm hoping nothing bad happens this time. We're doing another cutscene, so I'm assuming it's very similar to the last one, where it just, yeah, closes, and now we are in a cave. Alright, well, we haven't seen too many caves in this game yet, so this is kind of nice. Are these the uh, plants that get scared? Please tell me. Yes! I am obviously easily amused, guys, because these plants are just the best things ever. Did Robbie leave me again? Okay, so Robbie just deserts me. Oh, 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 I, I can't move my camera anymore, guys, to see him, so I guess we gotta swim over to him. Hello, little humpback whale. Oh my god, you guys are so cute, look at that, you got a little baby, don't eat me, please don't eat me. Oh, yes, I am fucking swimming with a whale now, this is so hardcore. Oh, wow. Man, whales are just so peaceful and badass. We got some more whales coming in the back here. Oh, look at it. You guys are so awesome. I just want to live here forever. I mean, nothing would fuck with me if I roll with these boys. This is... Oh, God. They're going to eat. They're going to eat them all. Yes. That is hardcore motherfucking shit right there, bros. Oh, God. Oh, those are humpbacks. What the fuck were those other things? Because these are humpbacks, right? I, I don't know. I, I don't know my whales. I don't know my fish. Uh, these ones look a little bit different, though. I'm assuming, yes, I've seen enough humpbacks to know. I'm pretty sure that's a humpback. Oh, 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 shit! Okay, <laughs> he was gonna get eaten. Don't eat me! I'm your friend! Fish are- wait, I'm not, I'm not on the fish. Robots are friend, not food. I'm, I still have no idea if I'm a robot or not. Okay, I'm getting away from his eye. It's weirding me out. <laughs> that is a big fucking whale. Look at that belly on that motherfucker! He has been eating like crazy. Oh, yes. I just want to live here forever. This is so cool. And I'm controlling the character, by the way, while we go along this. But the camera is being controlled by it, more or less. I can move it a little bit, but that is pretty much it. Oh, God. Oh, no. No! I want to follow them! It's not letting me follow them. Okay. Well, now we're... Oh, God. I don't feel safe now. I don't feel safe. Let's just keep going. Hello, fish. How's it going, guys? Are you guys... Oh, you guys aren't going to join me? That's no fun. I immediately feel way more dangerous now. 
Uh, my, my whale bros have left me. I don't know what these triangles are trying to tell me. Oh, oh fuck, it's gonna explode! That's what it's trying to do! Jesus! Oh god! Okay, am I supposed to do that? Because I'm kind of okay right now. I don't think I'm supposed to do that, though. Let's go down here. We can usually use these things, so I gotta assume I can use it again. Okay, what kind of fish am I going to bring now? A goblin shark. I didn't even notice it mentioned it at the bottom right. Okay, well, that's good. I, uh, breeded a goblin shark. Now I just gotta get the fuck out of here, because this is not very friendly. And I do have a fear of deep sea, so games like this kind of put me on my feet. I love it. Because it's one of the few things where I actually do get scared of games. A lot of horror games, it just doesn't work for me. But when it comes to deep sea, oh man, I just fucking hate it. Okay, well, as long as we ignore these triangles, we should be okay. And I did avoid them enough. Uh, this thing, this is not the normal door that I'm used to. Okay, I'm assuming I gotta follow these fucking cords, don't I? So it was chains last time, this time it's, uh, I guess power lines? So I guess I'll just follow this one first and we'll see where it goes. Okay, here is a generator one. So how do I work this one? Let's try it out. Oh, there we go. I just magically turned it on with the power of my mind. Oh, and that dropped the uh, triangle explodey things, so that's convenient. All right, one door is done. The red light is on. Let's get that other red light on. Move on. Oh god, this is not good. Oh god. Oh shit. Oh god. <laughs> Just, oh my god, this poor fucking guy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, he's so fucked up. But somehow he is still alive. That is impressive good, sir. So do those things even kill me? Or is this game just basically make it to the end? It doesn't matter if you get hit or not. Kind of bummed about that. To be honest, I should have died there. Or I would have assumed I should have died there, but maybe that wasn't the mechanic of it all. I don't know. All right, well, that opened up. That was oddly futuristic. Oh, hey! I didn't see you there. So this whole time, we have been following this elusive shark. So I'm assuming there's something going on around him. Could be totally wrong, though. It could just be some badass shark that, you, I mean, the game developers want you to you know, get scared about. But the good news is we have opened up this door so we can keep going here and uh, yeah, see what's inside the creepy ass cave. Can't wait to get inside there. It looks so inviting. Oh yeah, we got some more of these things. We might have an issue here. Oh, oh wow, though there's something that exploded ahead of me as well. What the hell are these things? Okay, I, I, I just wanna keep swimming. I wanna get the hell out of here. Oh, oh no, the shark. Shark, no, it's okay. Should I help the shark? Oh, did it just die? No, it is totally fine. Mr. Shark, I am here to help you, good sir. You might try and eat me after this, but you know what? Fish are friends, not food. Let's remember that. I'm gonna help you out, and why, why don't you just fucking eat me in half right after this? Game over. I would fucking love that. I would appreciate that so much. Oh, come on. Come on. Just just love me. Oh, it's so happy. I gotta take a picture of that. His, his little fucking smile. That was great. I am now the shark tamer. So hopefully the sharks are cool with me now that I helped out uh, good old Bruce over there. All right. Whoa. Okay. There we go. We're back with some whales here. We also got some uh, oil vents here. I'm assuming that's what those are. I don't really know, to be honest, but I'm gonna follow the whales if I can. Come on. Can I join you guys, please? I just gotta, you know, attach to you or something. Okay, don't know if I should be following these guys. I can't really keep up. Oh god, there's squids down there. They are the worst. I I would honestly rather die to a shark than a fucking squid. Squids are... They, they just look so fucking alien. And they got the bioluminescence in this game. Look at that thing just flashing on and off. That is fucking scary. I just want to get out of here, to be honest. Oh my god, look how big they are too. Nope, getting the fuck out. From a distance, they just look like tentacles with penises. Uh, it looks kind of fucking funny now that I think about it. But uh, let's just keep going, my immature humor aside. Oh, hey, look! I haven't seen one of these before. We're in another portal. Uh, so that must mean we did complete this one as well. Let's go in there. And uh, what did we unlock this time? I actually forget. Oh yeah, those weird sharks. Okay, so technically... We have all four completed now. Now, I'm assuming this is going to unlock or something. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to read ahead here. Is this is this really the end of the game? I'm going to say no. We have completed all of the shrines. Well, we will in a second here. But i got to assume that red anus of the sea opens up and all hell breaks loose. Okay. Oh, it is the squids. There we go. That's not horrifying at all. 
I thought it was going to be those sharks that I hatched, but I guess it's whoever you see at the end that you haven't seen before yet are the ones that pop out during that. Okay, hello floaty squids. You're not creepy and horrifying looking at all. God, I love how they added the bioluminescence of them just flashing on and off. That is, that is the scariest part, in my opinion. The fact that they can change colors in a heartbeat. Okay, we also got some light fish here. That's just fantastic. We are getting into the deep water, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, guys, I think we're actually going to end this one here. We will go through the temple in the next episode and hopefully see what's going on with that red anus of the sea. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, I just want to say thank you for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.